we are about an hour away from having a 90% solar eclipse. What's up boys? How's it going fellas? In about an hour from now, the eclipse is supposed to start. Where we are in North Idaho, we're not going to be getting the total eclipse. We're not going to get the 100%. Southern Idaho, the Twin Falls, Idaho Falls, Boise Corridor, all yeah. should have a total eclipse down there. But up here in the Panhandle, we're in the 90% eclipse range. We didn't buy any of those special glasses for, for looking at the sun during the eclipse. I'm not really keen on the idea of looking at the sun, cheap plastic glasses or not. I just don't have a lot of confidence in that product. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with it and everyone will be fine that does use it, but not for us. Though we will not be looking at the sun today, I am curious about the animal's reaction to the eclipse. I've seen a lot of conjecture about the animals acting weird when the eclipse occurs. I personally don't think it's gonna have any effect on them, but I figured I would document this, take you guys along for the ride and we'll see how dark it gets, and if that has any effect on our livestock. So here is our control. We're in the sheep paddock right now, obviously, and the sheep have just finished up their breakfast. You see Annabelle is going through the remains there on the ground. You girls sure have made a mess this morning. Usually they don't do this much waste with the hay. I'm not really sure what happened here. Is that good, Penelope? This is Annabelle's ewe lamb right here, that's Penelope. She is by far our biggest lamb. In fact, I think she's bigger than our rams. So Connie's out grazing what's left of the buttercup flowers that were over there, and Maggie is out. But most of the flock's just chilling in the shade next to Blue, and they'll probably get up and start grazing again here in a few minutes. But we'll just keep an eye on them, and so now you can see how they're acting before the eclipse, and we'll see how they are during the eclipse. What are your thoughts on the eclipse, Annabelle? Do you have any thoughts about the pending eclipse, Annabelle? Is that going to have any effect on you? No, I didn't think so. I think she'll be fine. The chickens are doing just fine. So here's the control shot for the chickens. They're all doing their thing. Looks like the rooster just found them a grasshopper. Good job, Freddy. There you go. Come here, chicken. Come here, chicken. Hello. Don't peck my hand. Hello, chicken. Come here. You need some help? Here you go. Return home. Hey, Claire, are you getting ready for the eclipse? You getting ready for the eclipse, girl? I know she's not acting funny because of the eclipse. She. This is how she acts. You want a belly rub? You want a belly rub? What are you guys doing? How are you doing, piggy piggies? Good? You ready for the eclipse? Looks like you guys have gotten into some mud. Are you making a wallow with your water? We still have nine of the American guinea hog piglets left. So if you're in the North Idaho Panhandle, Eastern Washington, Western Montana, and you need a piglet, let me know. Your mama's ready for the eclipse? Oh yes. Whoa, easy there, girls. Easy. I don't have any food for you. We'll check back soon. What are your thoughts, Penny? Penny for your thoughts? <laughs> Chicken Little just relaxing in the shade. 
And here are the Swedish flower hens and the lavender orpingtons. All is well here. Good morning, rabbits. Check out the path the rabbits are making by defoliating. Pretty cool. And in their wake we get all these lovely rabbit pellets left behind. Hello chickies. So that's everyone before the eclipse. Our neighbor just told us that we're at about 20%. He's got the glasses. He's looking at the sun. It's about 20% eclipse right now. And in the next 30 minutes, we should be hitting around that 88 to 90% range. Blue, what's up, buddy? Oh, there goes Clara. She's going to go into the chicken area and get some of their feed. Don't do it, Clara. Don't do it. Ah, she did it. Clara. No, no, no. Not a happy camper. It's kind of cool. The sun's getting higher but it's starting to get darker. It's noticeably dimmer right now than it was 15 minutes ago. So we're about four minutes away from what should be a 92% eclipse. And the air is a lot cooler. It's probably about five degrees cooler than it was. It's a noticeable difference. And the, the cast of light is really interesting. Um, I wouldn't mind if it were like this every day, actually. So we don't really have a lot of shade on our little homestead and uh, the light that normally would be being just uh, beating down on us is uh, partially obscured. So we we often have just a super beautiful blue sky, and uh, of course we still have that. But um, there are a lot more shadows than there usually are this time of day. And this morning I went to get some coffee from one of our awesome local organic coffee roasters, and there were two ladies in line in front of me ordering their coffee, and. One of them said, the world could end today. We could all die. Let's go do something crazy. And my first thought was, oh, please do not drink any more coffee. You don't really need more caffeine if you're already having that kind of day. So it was like seven in the morning. Uh, and, and then I, I wanted to remind them, you know, the world could end every day. Like, this is no different from any other day. It'll just be a little cooler for a couple hours. Little buddy, remember it's important not to look toward the sun, right? Alright. We're just gonna experience the increasing darkness. How does it get dark? The moon is going in front of the sun, so it blocks the sun's light. So it's 1028, and supposedly this is like the peak eclipse time for us. So this is as dark as it's gonna get right now? We're at peak, you said? Yeah, supposedly. It's still pretty light out. Yeah. I mean, it, it's noticeably darker. It's definitely darker, but mm -hmm. it's not dark. I thought it was going to be dark. I did too. And maybe it will get darker. I don't know. I think we have another hour before it completely passes over. What do you girls think? Are you acting weird because of the eclipse? No. And you're not looking at the sun? No. Maggie, you're standing oh, on my foot. Gonna hurt you. Can you get off my foot, Maggie? Oh, <sighs> thank you. Yes, little Tilly. I must say, it's a little disappointing. It's it's probably as dark now as it's gonna get, and it's just kind of like a cloud is blocking the sun. Really, it's not not terribly dark at all. And consequently, there is no adverse reaction by the animals.
Any adverse reactions here? Nope. None here either. What do you think, Clara? What do you think? <laughs> Rabbits still eating. Well, I suppose that's it for the eclipse here. Nothing too exciting. I'm curious if our friends down in South Idaho, either Fauchomatic off grid or Melanie at Road to the Farm, if they have any kind of eclipse footage. We'll be definitely uh, checking in to see if they have any of that coming.